Chapter 40 picks up with Joseph in prison. He interprets dreams for a cupbearer and a baker, and these one of them would eventually die. One of them would be restored to their position, just kind of cut into the chase of the story. And then eventually the wine bearer would be with Pharaoh and would one day uh, tell Pharaoh about Joseph, and this would lead to what God was going to do in his future. So let's learn from the story and see what God would show us. Chapter 40, verse 1. Sometime later, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt offended their master, the king of Egypt. Pharaoh was so angry with the two officials, the chief cupbearer and the baker, that he put them in the custody in the house of the captain of the guard, in the same prison where Joseph was confined. The captain of the guard assigned them to Joseph, and he attended to them. After they had been in custody for some time, each of the two men, the cupbearer and the baker, who were being held in prison, had a dream the same night, and each dream had a meaning of its own. Verse 6 says that when Joseph came to them the next morning, he saw that they were dejected. So he asked Pharaoh's officials, who were in custody with him in his master's house, why do you look so sad today? We both had dreams, they answered, but there is no one to interpret them. Then Joseph said, do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me your dreams. So the chief cupbearer told Joseph his dream. He said to him, in my dream, I saw a vine in front of me, and on the vine were three branches. As soon as it budded, it blossomed, and its clusters ripened into grapes. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes. I squeezed them into the cup and put the cup in his hands. This is what it means, Joseph said. The three branches are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to position and will put Pharaoh's cup in your hand, just as you used to do when you were with his with him as his cupbearer. But when all goes well with you, remember me and show me kindness. Mention me to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison, for I was forcibly carried off from the land of the Hebrews, and even here I have done nothing to deserve being put in this dungeon. When the chief baker saw that Joseph had given a favorable interpretation, he said to Joseph, I too had a dream. On my head were three baskets of bread, and the top basket were all kinds of baked goods for Pharaoh, but the birds were eating them out of the basket on my head. This is what it means, Joseph said. The three baskets are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift off your head and impale your body on a pole. Okay, wow, that's aggressive. And the birds will eat your flesh. Basically, he says to the wine bearer, you're going to live and be restored. To the baker, you're going to die. Verse 20. Now the third day was Pharaoh's birthday. He gave a feast for all his officials. He lifted up the head of the chief cupbearer and the chief baker in the presence of his officials. He restored the chief cupbearer to his position so that he once again put the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he impaled the chief baker, just as Joseph had said to them in his interpretation. The chief cupbearer, however, did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. He did not remember Joseph. He forgot about him. And I'm sure that this was hard for Joseph to process. He had been kind to these men. He had interpreted their dreams, even though one of them wasn't a positive interpretation. He was considerate of them, and he shared with them what was going to take place. And he said, hey, man, will you remember me when you get out of here? But the cupbearer forgot. But that's okay, because sometimes God will withhold uh, notoriety or blessings or things that we might feel like we deserve in one moment because it's not the best moment. And this is what's cool about God. The cupbearer forgot about him. But there would come a time where the cupbearer would remember him, when Pharaoh would have a dream that would wake him up in the middle of the night and terrify him. And in that moment, the cupbearer remembered, and we'll learn about it in the next video. The cupbearer would remember what Joseph had done for him. And we see that Joseph has the opportunity to come before the king, Pharaoh himself. Be blessed today.